Okay, and today's video tip that we're gonna be talking about is why not to hire a general contractor. So I believe there's certain situations where it is actually to your detriment to hire a general contractor, and I wanna talk about that in today's video blog. So, okay, first of all, why would you not hire a general contractor? And maybe a better question is, what is a general contractor? So this is a situation where we're talking about investing, right? So you've got a property, you're gonna renovate this property. Now, what a lot of new investors do is they go out and they look for a general contractor who they can hire who will do the entire project for them. Okay, so what that means is, is they talk to that general contractor, the general contractor will usually give one price to do the whole scope of work. Now, why is this a bad idea? Here's why I believe this is not good for you to do. The general contractor is not going to disclose to you how the project itemizes. So in other words, they're not gonna break down each aspect of the rehab. They're not gonna tell you what the price is for the kitchen and for painting and for carpet and for all the different aspects, for plumbing, electrical, mechanical, roof, siding, windows, all of those items, depending on the size of your rehab, he's just gonna give you one price. And then what does he do? The general contractor has his own subs, he manages the project, has a markup, talk about that in a second, and then does the job for you. Well, the reason why I'm so against this, and I tell all investors, don't hire a general contractor. There's one primary reason, and that is you never learn the rehab. You never learn what it costs to do each item of the rehab because you're not getting that information. Why is that so bad? Because when you're out looking at deals, you have to be able to analyze, here's what this property will sell for once fixed up, Here's what it's gonna cost me to renovate it so that I can run my formula and know my buy price. You cannot make offers on properties unless you know what it's gonna to cost to fix up that property. So by getting a general contractor, this is a shortcut. It's a lot of investors, they just wanna do that because they don't wanna learn the rehab process. They don't wanna learn what it costs to do each of those items. I strongly believe, especially if you're doing deals in a local market where you're at, that it's your job to build your own team of contractors. You need your own electrician, your own painter, and everybody else. And you need to understand what that costs. What should it cost to paint a house? What should it cost for electrical updates? What should it cost for carpet? All of those items you need to understand intimately so that you can walk into a property and you can determine the repairs quickly. Now, I've got a training I do. I give it away for free. It's called How to Estimate Repairs in 15 Minutes or Less. It includes my checklist for how you go through each item with preset, um, preset cost per item. And um, we'll try to make that available below this video where you can just easily go download that, watch that short training, and then get that checklist so that you can do that. But again, the reason why you do not wanna hire a general contractor, the primary reason is so that you learn what it costs because you're managing those subs yourself. You're building your own team of subcontractors. And another reason why is because that general contractor, what I found is the general contractor still needs managed, right? So it's not like you just hire a general contractor and a great, I'm gonna come back in 30 days when you're all done and, and I don't have to be involved at all. What I found is you're still there on a regular basis, making sure the general contractor and his subs are doing the work the way you want it done, the way it needs to be done. So if you're managing the general contractor as much as you would your own subs, why is he there, in my opinion, okay? And this is kind of a general rule, I know I'm generalizing a little bit here, but that general contractor is usually marking everybody up 10 to 15, sometimes 20%. So you're paying that general contractor for his expertise to oversee the project. They're his subs that he's using. You should get your own subs, manage those subs yourself, and not be paying a markup and learning the rehab process yourself. So that's my tip of the day on this video. Be sure to leave a comment below this. I'd love your feedback. I'd love your ideas on this. Maybe you agree, maybe you disagree. Leave that feedback here at the bottom of this video and we'll see you on the next video.